Yeah. Right, we've got eight orders this morning. Let's get them out, shall we? We have, we have, we have. Right, we've got loads to do today, so let's get into it straight up. So we've got eight sales on eBay, like we said. So we're finally starting to sell the Builder Bear plushies. This one, I've got a Benny Boy the Carbu for a quid, and it's all for $4.99. Now, it's not a massive profit, but we're not buying that to selling that. It then made me another Builder Bear, bun, uh, Builder Bear sale, which has been here for a while. This is Builder Bear Spider Man. Doesn't owe me anything now, $9.99 plus the shipping. We move on. I need to put this bag somewhere. So I keep bending down. Been going to this CrossFit thing. Fucking back is killing. But anyway, moving on. We've sold Band of Brothers straight away, $9.99. And the Pacific for $8.99. It's cost me two quid each. It was four quid into about 20. After fees, about four into about 15 quid. So you can't complain that. You just can't. Then we finally for $9.99 sold another Lord of the Rings figure. These again don't owe me any money. But hopefully that now the guy who receives this and they get loads more sales from his Lord of the Rings stuff. So he's doing my head and having all this stuff here. Uh, another good sale from the car boot. Last was when me and Daz went to the one in Bottisford. Picked up some games, 50p each. That was one of them. And that has also gone for 9.99 plus the shipping. There's a lot of 9.99s in this shit, aren't there? The biggest sale so far in the day. Um, I did have a lot of sales go out at the weekend, but was, uh, on Monday morning for the weekend sales, but I had like three videos backed up, so I just woke up, wrapped the orders, and then had a day off. And then had the next day off, and the next day off. And I just feel a lot better in myself because I've been to that CrossFit. You know what I mean? Anyway, enough blagging. This is the biggest sale of today so far. 30 quid for that Lumix camera that I paid a fiver for on Saturday at Toxy. And then the biggest sale, as in size wise, one of them Samsonite suitcases gone. Yeah, I was up for 29.99, someone offered me 24.99, and I accepted it, make sure I hit the roof this time. Samsonite suitcase, it's gonna be a nightmare. Until I got some pallet wrap. Just literally you wrap it in pallet wrap, label on the front. You could even put a label on the front of it there and send it, but people know what it is, don't they? Right, so get these wrapped and then we'll see what the day brings. Stay tuned. Like, also comment loads. Uh, yeah. Also, the person who won the Doc Martins, uh, I can't remember what the name was, I have to go back on the other video where he announced it. But he never messaged me, so they're still there. What is that? What is it, Ta? Okay, it. He's gone. See you later. Honest to God, yeah, that pallet wrap stuff. Different breed. Come on, mate. Right, so I just got home from dropping the parcels off. Because little man I got a bit tired, so it's bringing back so we can't go to the charity shop till a bit later on, about half three. Um, but we've got some talking to do. So the talking is, if you see me on Instagram, on my story, um, about the every delivery thing that went wrong. Um, yeah. So if, you've seen, if you haven't seen it, go follow me, Kaji underscore reset on Insta. I need like a hundred more followers and over a thousand, so it's not too far. But basically, a little bit there, there. Basically, what's happened is um, I sent out that Cyberpunk's toy that I paid the fiver for all day to sell 15 to 20 quid. I sold my 15 quid plus the postage through every bubble wrapped it, put it in a box because I know these are like sort of uh, toys. You know I mean, pe people who collect them want them on like shelving or whatever. So I sent it off through every uh, about two weeks later. He opens up a return a return request, a refund request, and states that every have destroyed the parcel. And he messaged me saying, every's destroyed the parcel um, beyond repair. I'd like a refund. So I messaged him, never heard that one before. Are you sure, mate? Then I clicked on the tracking, and it literally did say, from every, 
we've destroyed this because it uh, destroyed this through the courier or whatever beyond repair. So they've literally just destroyed the toy. And I'm like, what the fuck? How, how is this possible? Contacted them, nothing, rang up eBay. They're telling me refund the buyer. So I'm like, okay, I want this case to be closed. So I messaged the guy saying, sorry, mate, refund. He, he was all right. He said, no problem, buddy, whatever. How can every destroy a parcel and then keep the money? I've opened up a, a request with every, I've emailed them and they said there's no further action to be taken. I'm like, what's going on? Where's my money? Where's my fucking 20 pound or 15 plus post? Where is it? But it is what it is. And then even worse, listen to this one. I thought the day was going bad, you know? Sales are all right, but I thought the day was going quite bad today. We need to find some more stock, do with some other bollocks. And then I sent out some Skechers shoes, 1695, perfectly wrapped, sent. They got returned to me because she put the wrong address on it. The address wasn't, wasn't legit. So she messaged me saying, um, can I can you resend it back out? I said, I can't because it won't be tracked. And she said, if I pay, pay through PayPal to uh, another address and I, I always think for fuck's sake but I went with it I went with it rookie mistake uh, so I went with it I said right refund me uh, send me the postage again on PayPal because I'm not paying it again she was like yes it's my fault I'll send you the postage a couple of days go by I check my PayPal and it says there's a money request so she's asking me for postage so obviously I didn't accept they never sent the shoes today after I sent the shoes, once she did send the money, she's opened up a request of item not received. So now she's, now when you just got off the phone with eBay, now she's going to get the shoes because I sent it second class. I probably should have sent it in track, my fault again. She's going to get the shoes. Uh, she's going to keep the money. And I've had a case open, so my sales are slowed down. The guy on the phone says, your sales don't slow down. Think of all these big companies. I said, mate, I've heard this bullshit hundreds of times from eBay, and it does. And as soon as the case closes, all your sales come back in. So basically, what I did was just refunded her. So I've had twenty odd pound refund, which is pissing me off because I have to pay, I had to refund the postage as well, sixteen ninety five plus like four pound postage, and then I had to refund that toy even though every broke it. So just from this morning, I've done maybe I don't know, 40-50 quid in sales so far, at half eleven, and by twelve of minus like five quid but is what it is it happens i just want people to understand this happens and ebay are scumbags and every fucking hell first took off 200 pound worth of labels from me because them ebay's mistake whatever ah <sighs> let's hope this day gets better eh and i picked this up yesterday for two quid i'm just about to list it and then go through some of the stuff in there that needs to be listed Right, so I've just gone through some of this stuff I've listed, right? This camcorder. And inside there is this manual. Obviously, it's not the camera that's in the bag, so. Hopefully, that sells for some it's a couple of quid. So, we'll look. Not bad at all. Some of them are listed for $19.99. No solds, though, so I've put mine up for $6.99, so I'm miles under the asking price. And hopefully, it sells quicker than Omeo, so quick fiver. I thought this was a Megazord when I bought it the other week, but it looks more like a train. So if anyone knows what the hell this is, please let me know. I sit here and watch Bluey until she's back in 15 minutes and then we'll take the charity shops. So yeah, probably should have gone to uh, market today. It's a beautiful day outside, isn't it? But we didn't, I bet Daz is gone. I mean, I don't throw him though, to be fair. So I don't know, I'm actually gonna message him, see what he says. It's that cannon thing, but it's got to be worth 30 quid, Charlie. Into the next one, then. So, I've got some anime DVDs in the other one. She wants a pound each, and there's 14 of them. But I'm hoping I'm going to run together and get like 50, 60 quid. So, I'm going to go, but it's cash over, it's only cash. So, is it something like that? Oh, 
Must have was there, she was kicking off. Yeah, there was nothing in there. Now I might quickly run down to the bottom two and try and uh, try and grab some bargains down there. So it was shut till five, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna drive down there. So we had the videos pre-recorded, but what I should have done was film at least the weekend sales because I had some bangers with those all hammered them out for 80 odd quid and some other bits, but we're anyway. Massive fish tank things, isn't it? For a sprint tuber for 20 quid. Some fishing stuff. So, I picked up was this Funko looking thing. It's not a Funko, I don't think. It's actual, it's an actual figure. Uh, I think it's from Rick and Morty. When I scanned it up, you're looking at anywhere between 10 and 12 quid. So, I thought for two quid, easy listing, isn't it? Into the next one. Since they updated this shop, it is absolute doggo. Alright then, buy them and sell the first ones I've got. So you probably, I don't know what flashing is, but you're probably thinking, why are you getting this? I'll show you. I was going to get it from for this, but... Look at that. Disgusting. And there's this, what the scores are shit. Four quid for guitar here. There's a big box set of these. Five but for a friend's game. It's worth about seven quid. Keep seeing these, but I don't know if they're worth out. 15 quid listing for him and then a tenner for each one of these other ones, but none sold, so. Here's a case of shit well. well, that's it then. That's it. We came all the way down here to pick up this bag of shit. So take the fuel off, it's very break even. Well, we found some of our own bargains for the collection. Got a Prime X, never seen that before. There's a pink one for 199 and then there was a blue one. I've scanned it up on eBay as well to see if they sell for it, but it's not even listed. So, I don't know if they're worth it, but it's to the collection anyway. I don't know why I collect it. I'm, I'm a weird guy. Just, just yeah. All right, back home, lighting's not very good, but this is what we've picked up today. Picked up 14 of these anime DVDs, pound each. Probably just been scammed, but. You know, time to look up, there's no anime is worth a shit ton of pennies. Any of you been to Amazon? Anime, is the fucking word I'm looking for. And one of these, let me know. Sorry about that deal. Then we picked up Star Wars The Force Unleashed for a quid, I think. Uh, Hello Kitty for a quid. This guy for two quid. These bad boys for 199 each. Bubble wrap, so we get another one ordered. This for two quid, Harry Potter one thing. Where is it? Does it work? It goes green. I don't know if that's worth 50 quid, but I could pray. Um, find of the day is probably this for three pound. If it's what I think it is, I haven't searched it up yet, but I'm hoping 30 odd quid for that. And that's it. Thank you very much, Doncasters. Anyone can honor? Cheeky tenner for Hulk. Get it up. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Got a Walking Dead thing, that's from Holiday. And some primes, we've got two more to add, so we're gonna have to move something. Shout out to John. So that's gonna be me in the brick shed. Uh, not the best video of all time. Sold some stuff. Got mugged off by eBay, customer service. Hence the title of this video. And we bought some stuff, so all in all, average day. <laughs> Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully I'll see you with a better one tomorrow. Peace.